Massive cover-up, what Jordan just concluded, land struck in another hot mess, by US4Trump.com. Wednesday, Representative Jim Jordan joined Fox News with host Sandra Smith discussing the newly released text messages from fired FBI agent Peter Strzok. The swap will have a hard time spinning this one. During his interview, Representative Jim Jordan pushed back at Strzok and his lawyer. Strzok's attorney, Aiton Goldman, attempted to explain the text messages reveal a media leak strategy within the Justice Department in April of 2017. The argument that Mr. Strzok's making just doesn't hold water, doesn't pass the smell test, Jordan declared. The new text messages released that are outlined in a letter Representative Mark Meadows sent to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein Monday seem to show Strzok discussing media leaks with his lover, former FBI attorney Lisa Page. I had literally just gone to find this phone to tell you uh, I want to talk to you about media leak strategy with DOJ before you go. One of the texts reads. Strzok's attorney, Aiton Goldman, said Tuesday that the texts were being misrepresented by Meadows and others for political purposes. The term media leak strategy in Mr. Strzok's text refers to a department-wide initiative to detect and stop leaks to the media. The president and his enablers are once again peddling unfounded conspiracy theories to mislead the American people, Goldman said. Jordan pushed back with cold hard facts. Remember this is the same guy who said we will stop Trump? So their bias was pretty darn clear for some of the earlier text messages we've seen. Now we see there was a media strategy, a leak strategy to influence this whole thing, Jordan explained. Jordan reminded the audience about the Department of Justice Inspector General's report on the FBI's handling of the Clinton email investigation and the revelation that 13 different FBI officials were working with one reporter as evidence that the leaks were coordinated. If that doesn't point to some kind of media strategy, leak strategy, I don't know what does, Jordan said. He added, if their strategy was to stop the leaks, they sure didn't do a very good job. Watch below as Representative Jim Jordan sounds off about new allegations of a media leak strategy revealed in new Strzok page text messages. North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows firing back at FBI agent Peter Strzok over newly released texts the congressman says reveal a media leak strategy within the DOJ to hurt President Trump. Both men accusing each other of dishonesty and misrepresenting the facts. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, he sits on the House Judiciary and House Oversight Committees. He joins us now. Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning. So good what should the American people take away from these messages that we've now seen, in addition yeah. to the fact that we're seeing this war of words between Meadows well, and Strzok's attorney? Well, I mean, the, the argument that Mr. Strzok's making just doesn't hold water and doesn't pass the smell test. I mean, remember, this is the same guy that said, we will stop Trump. This is the same people who said that, you know, Trump should lose 100 million to zero, so their bias was pretty darn clear from some of the earlier text messages we see. Now we see that there was a media strategy, a leak strategy, to influence this whole thing. And we know this from, from the Inspector General's report. I remember one of, the, one of the things the Inspector General cited, Sandra, was 13 different FBI people who were working with one reporter. Now, if that doesn't point to some kind of media strategy, leak strategy, I don't know what does. We're all so, left wondering uh, what exactly that is, because here's what Strzok's attorney issued via a statement. Uh, the attorney said, quote, the term media leak strategy in Mr. Strzok's text refers to a department-wide initiative to detect and stop leaks to the media. The president and his enablers are once American. again peddling unfounded conspiracy theories to mislead the American people. Yeah, if their, if their strategy was to stop the leaks, they sure didn't do a very good job because they were everywhere. Also remember this, the dossier was the key. The dossier is what they took, uncorroborated, a non-credible dossier they took to the secret court to get the warrant to spy on the other campaign. That dossier was buttressed by, by leaks that they were giving to the press 
press stories that were coming from the FBI, coming from the very sources who put together the dossier. It is never supposed to work that way, but in fact it did. And so now for them to say, oh, no, no, we were, we were working to try to stop this, just doesn't, just doesn't pass the smell test, as I said before. I want to make sure that we, we highlight uh, this text that was first outlined in that letter uh, by Mark Meadows, uh, the Republican from North Carolina. It, it said, I had literally just gone to find this phone to tell you I want to talk to you about media leak strategy with DOJ before you go. And Meadows is obviously making the case about the media leak strategy while Strzok and his attorney are saying that that text is being completely taken out of context. Yeah, I mean, again, look at the history. Who are you going to believe? I think Mark has it exactly right. I think Peter Strzok, with all we've learned about him, remember, he was the key agent. He was the guy who ran the Clinton investigation, started and ran the Trump-Russia investigation. Remember, all these key people at the FBI, James Comey, director, fired. Andy McCabe, deputy director, fired. Peter Strzok, deputy director of counterintelligence, first demoted, then fired. Jim Rabicki left the FBI, chief of staff. Jim Baker, chief counsel, was first demoted, then left the FBI. And Lisa Page, FBI counsel, was demoted and then left the FBI. Those key people ran both of these investigations, and now they're telling us, oh, don't worry, we were actually trying to work this out and stop the media leaks, mm -hmm. when we know the media leaks were used to buttress the dossier when it was taken to the FISA court. Just doesn't hold water. Politico's got a big, uh, turning the page a little bit here, it's got a big piece out on you today, uh, titled, Right Mounts Campaign to Make Jim Jordan the GOP Leader. Have you had a chance to read it? I have not read it yet. I've heard about it, but I have not read it yet. Let me tell you, it says a collection of outside groups wants the Freedom Caucus co-founders to succeed Paul Ryan, but rank and file members aren't likely to abide. First of all, is that do you want that job? Well, yeah, so I've announced that, I'm, that if we keep the majority and that's priority number one, then I've, I'm planning to run for speaker. What I will tell you is almost every major conservative organization across this country is supporting us. I've been shocked and, and, and pleased with that kind of uh, grassroots support we're getting across the country. I was in Texas yesterday helping two of our candidates. Uh, the grassroots support I got there from people was very strong. So we'll see. But the main thing is to keep the majority. And then, in fact, if we do, I would like to lead, lead our conference, lead, that, lead the House of Representatives, because I think we've got to focus on one simple thing doing what we said and helping the president accomplish the things we told the voters we were going to. Well, accomplish. and that is what the leaders of these four prominent outside groups, conservative groups, that is the, the, the case that they make in this article. I'm sure you'll check that out at some point today. Jim Jordan, the congressman, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, excellent. He would make an excellent speaker of the House, not like that idiot, uh, uh, the idiot uh, Paul Ryan, you know? Uh, and uh, he got to the bottom of Strzok. Uh, Strzok, you better, you know, think of another excuse because that's not going to fly. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.